So unit six, question 22. And um, please look at the question and just write what answer you would choose while I try to draw something. So, so far we have uh, A, C, and D as possible answers. Anybody want to try B just to round it all off? <laughs> okay, so here, just like um, that question number nine that we did, uh, here is a situation where Acer has certain expectations about what knowledge you should have, but they are going to rely on your um, uh, your reasoning to to see whether or not you're able to take that knowledge and then uh, um, you know uh, uh, be, be able to use your your reasoning skills to to maneuver with some new information that you're presented with. So this is the minimum they're expecting you to know. You're you're expected to recognize that that is a um, convex lens and convex lenses are converging lenses. So convex lenses are converging lenses. That's usually uh, something that students memorize. And then, you know, usually students have a, a basic understanding of, um, of how to do, uh, you know, the line diagrams. And so if you, if you have a, a ray diagram for a converging lens, and you have a, a parallel array, well then that will converge and go through what is called the focal point. So um, in other words, the, the bottom line here is that a uh, array that is incident on a converging lens, so it's a converging convex lens as opposed to a diverging lens, which diverges light, which is concave, this is a convex lens. It converges light. You can just imagine uh, using a um, uh, what are those things that children use uh, the concave lens to converge light from the sun onto a point, which is a uh, I can't believe I can't remember. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so so you can uh, just like a magnifying glass converges to a point. So, um, so does all convex lenses converge to a point which is called the, um, the uh, uh, focal point. So, um, so we know that it converges and you, and you see uh, the example here. So when you look at the uh, diagram that Acer provides, immediately you should know that red and green uh, which they show you in figure one, must converge down to the point one and two. Because one and two are below the central part. This is the central axis or vertex. This is the central axis axis that runs through the center of the, um, of the lens, which is the vertex here. And so uh, you can see from the diagram that points one and two are below the central axis of the lens. And therefore, we expect red and green to be at points um, one and two. We don't know the order yet, but we know that we're points one and two. Then, um, likewise, if you had a parallel line below the axis, uh, like so, parallel line below the axis, then you would expect that this parallel line will converge, but now upwards, again, through the focal point. There we go. So through the focal point, but it converges upwards um, because that's uh, the nature of convergence. When things come to something, they uh, move uh, uh, more towards the center. So that means that blue and yellow must be at points three and four. So I think everyone should be at least comfortable with that because um, that's the minimum that Acer ex is expecting from you. But here comes the part where you know some students might uh, get uncomfortable, and it's because when you look when you look at the, at this uh, in uh, textbooks, you would normally see the lens drawn like this. But is this the shape of a lens? Think about it. Have you ever seen person wearing glasses? Head on, <laughs> they're, they're, one of the lenses in their glasses look like this head on. 
Of course not. When you look at somebody wearing glasses, the lens looks uh, more or less circular, right? No, th this, is, this is a cross-section of the lens. We are looking at the lens from the side and giving you this convex appearance. But if you were to look at the lens from, from the front, well, uh, the lens would just look, look something like this. It would look like a circle. Now, when you think of the lens as a circle, let's think back. If, if uh, a light ray entered the lens from the top, on the, on the other side, once it's refracted, will the, will the ray be at the top or will it be at the bottom? If it enters from the top, right, it's going to be at the bottom. And obviously, we've already proven if it enters from the bottom, it's going to be uh, it's going to be on the top. So if it enters from the right, will the ray be on the right on the other side, or will it be on the left? It's got to be at the left. If it's at the top, it's at the bottom. If it's at the bottom, it's at the top. So if it's at the right, it's going to be on the left on the other side. If it's on the left, it's going to be on the right. So uh, that's why. If red and green go in, on the other side, it's going to be green and red in that order. But it'll be green and red at the bottom. And if it's blue and yellow, it's going to be yellow-blue, but at the top. And so, uh, yes, the answer is going to be D for question 22.